our glutes in efforts to drive our hips forward, looking to regain our posterior stability and function and really sort of stretching the anterior front line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze our glutes, get up nice and tall, shoulders back, and then we're just gonna lean back. And just by gently leaning back, you're gonna start feeling a little bit of tension, not only from your rectus down, but you might feel a little bit of tension along your neck. And we refer to that as the anterior line, the quad group, the abdominals, all the way up into the cervical spine and the muscles that align up forward. So we're gonna lean back forward, get up nice and tall once more. The same sort of concept, shoulders back, chest up. This time, give me a little bit of an arch along your neck and looking up and promoting extension from the neck all the way down to our knees. We're just gonna come back and lean. Hips forward, squeeze your glutes and hold. Three, two, and one. This time we're gonna focus a little bit on breath so you can go hands over your navel. And we're gonna practice two good breaths as we lean into this position. We're going back. Same focus, we're squeezing in efforts to drive hip extension. We're leaning back just a bit in efforts to stretch that interior line and promote trunk extension. And now we're gonna focus on breath. We're gonna take a deep breath in. Hold and breathe out. Two good breaths. As we breathe in, feel that navel pull out. Hold and breathe out. Feel that navel come back in. We're gonna sit back at our heels. Hands are gonna reach forward. And what we're gonna focus here is establishing a little bit of flexibility and mobility along that anterior line. Hands are securely placed onto the ground. We're just gonna spread our fingers, try to get as much surface area as possible. But this is gonna be our anchor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lean back and pull against our anchor while driving our head down into the mat. We're gonna be intentional in trying to drive in the mat in efforts to regain length along our lats. And also pushing down, again, to promote flexibility and extensibility by driving to that anterior front line. So we should feel a little bit of pressure in our abdominals, in our pecs, and certainly in our lats as we're pulling back down. I'm gonna ask you guys to relax, come back into that quadruped position, and then we're gonna lean back again and we're gonna be really intentional about pulling away, keeping our hands fixed into the ground, and driving our forehead or our head deep into the ground. Hold for three, two, and one. Once more, come back, quadruped position once more, and lean and drive. And I'm gonna ask you to do one little special thing here. As you drive down, push into the ground, Feel your anterior section light up, and then let go, release. Find some more extensibility and flexibility by going down. Again, we'll repeat, push into the ground. Feel your abdominals brace as we're pushing into that ground, and then relax, and then allow yourself to fall with gravity. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reach over onto our right side. And the same concept applies. We're looking to gain length, primarily through our lats here. So you're gonna pull against the ground, shift your head underneath your arm. And if you can, rotate your chest up towards the ceiling as you pull away. You should feel some tension develop along your right wing or that lat region. And feel it as it traces down the lateral line almost into your pelvis. Pull away and hold for three, two, 
one. We're relaxed for just a bit and be really intentional with this second rep right here. We'll practice the breath as we go through. Anchor into the ground, pull away, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. We're gonna repeat up onto the other side. Hands firmly placed into the ground, pull away. Look underneath the armpit and if you can, rotate your chest up towards the ceiling as you pull away. Feel the tension develop from the top of your wing down your lateral line into your pelvis. And if you can, rotate. And efforts to include your obliques. Just a bit more, relax. Second rep, let's focus with breath. Anchor down, pull, breathe in, and breathe out and pull away. Breathe in, breathe out, anchor and pull away. Good. We're going to recenter. Same sort of concept applies. This time, we're going to allow ourselves to just fall. With this new range, we should find ourselves a bit easier to meet the ground. And here, the focus is going to be to let go of tension. So for the next 15 to 20 seconds, we're just going to give you silence. And in this position, just allow yourself to fall into the mat with just the assistance of gravity. Surprised just how much tension we carry. And I try to be intentional in trying to give us opportunities to practice letting go of some of that tension. We'll revisit visit that in a moment. But before then, let's just focus on two breaths here. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out. Good, we're gonna progress into a prone cobra position, elbows down into the mat. Legs fully extended, toes pointed away. Hands still anchored into the ground. And the first portion of this class is gonna be really towards promoting, again, extensibility. So we're looking to drive our trunk away from that flex position and gently pushing into the ground. We're feeling a nice little anterior stretch along our abdominals, our stomach, up towards our chest, and certainly in our hip flexors. As you're in this position, be a bit mindful about squeezing your glutes and almost trying to lift your lower legs off the ground in efforts to practice hip extension. So this is gonna be a huge theme. And I'm gonna to try to spend as much time promoting both extension along the trunk and hip extension. Push down into the gown and then relax. Again, anchor down, we're gonna push into the ground. We're gonna Incorporate our upper extremities. Feel this along your tricep. No tension in the lower, your lower spine. If you do, just reach out just a bit forward in efforts to decrease any sort of pain or tension there. Arch your head up. Feel that stretch develop along that interior frontal line. And then include your 
hip extensors into the movement by squeezing and then lifting your legs. You're pushing into the ground, now stabilizing that interior section. You're promoting more extension by driving up, and then you're squeezing your glutes in efforts to drive your lower half up. Relax, I will repeat once more. Big theme, societal demands and life stress always puts us in this seated, curled position and we lose the opportunity to really focus on regaining extension, something that we lose as we age. We want to spend as much time promoting that. Here we go, we're driving up, pushing into the ground, legs completely straight, extended, and then elevated. And in efforts to really build stability along that interior line, push into the ground in this extended position. Hold for three, two, and one. Good. Elbows right underneath our shoulder. We lengthen, and now we're gonna stabilize.